to win an NBA championship, you have to win games that you probably shouldn't win. And this is one of those in terms of you guys didn't play at the end of the game the way you probably would have liked. Absolutely. No, we we for sure got blessed tonight. Um, Miami came back, stormed back. We up 10 in the fourth quarter. Um, and you try not to lose. And sometimes trying not to lose makes you lose. You just got to keep playing. So I feel like, you know, we took our foot off the gas a little bit. And, you know, they came and made a run. And D. White made a hell of a play at the end. Jalen, you were this close. You were this close to having your season end. 0.5 seconds, I mean, Ernie. Not I this mean, close. No. 0.3 and, seconds. And, and, one. and you see Marcus rim that out. I mean, did you think this thing was over? It's, it's not over till it's over. I, I mean, but as you watch that last play happen, <laughs> what was I thinking? I thought it was good for a second. I, I think, yeah, that was a hell of a play by Marcus too to get it off so quickly. For sure, D. White come out of nowhere, man, like a flash of lightning. Look at you! Look at you! You like shot? You <laughs> shot right you. there. Hey, it's not over till it's over, Kenny. Hey, I'll take it. You know, Jada. Uh, yeah, it's like point two. Point one. Yeah, I don't understand. You said we're up ten. You guys gotta win. What the hell? Why did y'all? Why do y'all relax with y'all? I mean, cause y'all done it all playoffs long, and then you got in the whole O3 by doing that. What is it about y'all where y'all just don't say, hey man, let's just kill these dudes and get it over with? I guess we just like doing it the hard way. I guess. Uh, I'm not sure why we do it. Um, it seems like when we get in those moments, we get a little bit apprehensive and we kind of like get a little bit like we just don't want to be the one to mess up and it causes you to be the one to mess up. I feel like in those moments, we just got to grow. And then this next couple games that we got, this next game that we got, we got to be better. Down 0-3, I would like to know what the conversations were because it was one game you guys played here. Everybody said you guys had quit. I would like to know what the conversation was. Was it we're going to make history. Was that the first words or was it we're going to take one game at a time and get to a game seven? The whole conversation was don't let us get one. Um, we feel like, you know, we didn't play to up to par in the first three games, but we felt like they played incredible in the first three games. I think they, they role players came out, played tremendous, and we didn't really have an answer. As um, soon as we feel like we can get one, we feel like we can get two, and now we got three. So let's get ready for game seven. Jalen, it's almost like this team had to hit rock bottom before you started playing the way you can play. I mean, have you been lower this season than you were after game three of the series? No, nah, don't, it don't get too much worse than being down 3-0. Um, so I feel like now we got a new confidence. We feel like we've been to hell and back, Ernie. Yeah. And, and now, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and look at this. Can you believe that three-point number for you guys tonight? Seven out of 35. Season low, 20% from three. Uh, and you depend on the three ball you have all year, and you win the game. We had, to, we had to change our identity mid-playoffs. I mean, we've been living and dying by the three ball kind of on offense, but we had to make a, make a stand and be like, defense is going to win us these games. Defense got us in these games. Defense kept us in these games. And we was able to win tonight because we kept them at 100 points. You know what? I, I have a question that is a little bit different. Coach Masula at times in the media have been getting really, really criticized by a lot of media around the country. Now it's time to give him props. What in these last three games has he done and made the adjustment and ha helped him grow as a coach instead of on the other side giving him the let's give him some flowers right now. Joe seemed to stay calm. Joe took all the blame. He tried to down the sword. But in reality, we was all in this together and we all had to make adjustments. I had to see the game. He pulled me to the side. This is where the game is going to be played. It's not going to always be you scoring the ball. Find a way to make an impact on the game, whether it's rebounding, whether it's your defense, your presence. Um, so Joe's just been in our ear this whole time. His first year, but he got a poise. He got a mentality that keeps us in games. And um, now we back in it. We know you have other media obligations after this. And uh, so we have to let you go. But the last thing is this. Do you believe what you just saw out there? Because I don't. Do you believe what you just saw out there? <laughs> I don't, but we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you guys. Jalen right. Brown, thank you, you very much. Brother. Wait, wait to get back. Hey, get back in it. You say you want to make history. Yes, you only make history if you win number four. Don't forget that. Just get in the game seven don't make history. Exactly. I got you. Jalen Brown, our guest here on Inside the NBA. And we... Uh,